we're going to walk through installing a PCL6 driver for Rico Copier on Windows 7. So first thing we need to do is go get our drivers. We're going to open up a web browser. We're going to go to Rico.com. Once you get to Rico's site, click the download section and then select Americas. On this screen, the search, we're going to uncheck brochure and manuals and then type the model number of your copier. Currently using a 4502. Down below, select the driver for your specific copier. Agree to the terms and conditions. On the following screen, you're going to pick your specific operating system. I'm currently using Windows 7 64-bit, which you have all your options for other operating systems. And once you get here, we're going to go with the PCL6. So we're going to click the download button to the right. And then we're going to save it to our desktop just so we know where it is. Once your download is complete, you can go ahead and minimize that. And here's the file we just downloaded. So we're going to double click that. Click Run. And then Next, accept the agreement, click Next. Then we're actually going to browse back to our desktop, just again so we know where everything is. So click Browse, select your desktop, click OK. And then Next, and OK. So here's the folder we just extracted. We'll come back to that in just a moment. Go ahead and click your Start button. We're going to go to Devices and Printers. So next we're going to go to Add a Printer. And then we're going to add it as a local printer. On the next screen, we're going to select choose, Create a New Port. And in the drop-down, we're selecting standard TCP slash IP. And then Next. Under host name or IP address, we're going to type the IP address of your copier. Make sure you're not typing in the IP address that I put here. Make sure this box is unchecked. And click Next. Here we're going to select Have Disk. And then Browse. This is where we're actually going to point back to this folder that we extracted earlier. So again, select your desktop, double click the folder, and disk one, and here's our driver, OEM setup. Click open, and then OK. Now here we're going to have all the different manufacturers for this specific driver. We want to make sure to select RICO, and then you get a list of the specific model numbers that this driver will work with. So again, I'm using a 4502. You want to make sure to select your specific model. Click Next. Printer name can be anything you want it to be. Typically, I just leave it as is, and then click Next. And then Windows will install the printer. Once that's done, make sure to select Do Not Share This Printer unless you're installing it on a server and want to share it out across the network. Click Next. And then, of course, you can set it as your default if you choose to. We're going to skip printing a test page for just a moment. Go ahead and click Finish. And here's our installed copier. Next, we want to go ahead and right-click on this and go to Printer Properties. And here's our Properties window. You have all your different options across the top. We're going to go into Preferences. Under the first screen, one-click presets, we're going to change color black and white to just black and white. Now, if you do need to print in color, you can always select it as you print a job. And here's all your other options you can select. Under two-sided, 
we want to change this to off. And this is under the edit section under detailed settings. So edit and turn two sided off. Click OK. And then we're going to print a test page. If your test page prints, you have everything set up correctly and you're good to go.